Hi everybody, it's Laura Johnson here from Shining Star Waldorf School. I'm the second grade teacher. Now, second graders, this is the next step of our string art project. If you're confused about what's happening here, uh, you should go to another previous video to follow those instructions and make sure that you are all ready for this part. So, for this part, you're going to need some string. Now, you can use anything that's around the house. I'm gonna use a combination of yarn. I have this pink thread from another project left over, so I'm gonna use this pink thread. Um, you can use anything you have, twine, even ribbon would work, okay? So, I have 12 nails here, and you see that I've labeled them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna leave my string all along like this. I'm gonna take my string and I'm going to tie it to the top of the number one, okay? Leaving enough tail because that's gonna be helpful uh, later when I have to tie it again. Now, hang on, my cat assistant who's around might jump in the picture any second, so we'll see. Then making sure that that's nice and tight, you're going to go to the second one wrapping around. Now if you can wrap from the outside, you see I'm coming from the outside of the circle and wrapping into the circle. This would be wrapping from inside out, but I want to go from outside in. And I'm wrapping around one time and I'm keeping it really close to the board. I don't want to wrap it around right at the head of the nail. You want to wrap it around at the base. You can always push it down towards the wood after you've wrapped it too. Keep a good handle on your string. My strings might be a little knotted, but I think I'm gonna make it there. Great, okay. When you get to the end, you can clip the extra and then tie it together here. My cat assistant is very interested in this project as it has string, which is like the most fun thing ever. So my cat assistant here is showing you how cool this is. So that's your first step. Thank you, cat assistant. So you can clip off the extra right here. I'm just gonna lay it over for now, but that's your first one, wrapping around each one individually all the way around, not skipping one spot. Okay. Now for the second part, you're going to tie another string. This time I'm using this white yarn that I happen to have. I would highly recommend using different colored uh, strings just so it doesn't get too confusing. Um, so I'm going to, with my help of my cat assistant, um, <laughs> let's see. Um, you're going to want to tie. Give me a hand. Oh, okay. You're gonna to wanna to tie it to the top of number one. Now, this time you're going to skip every other nail, okay? That means that you're gonna go from one to three um, to five and so on all the way around. So that means that I'm not gonna to go to two. I'm gonna skip right to three, skip to five, skip to seven. Skip to nine, skip to 11, and then come back to one where you can tie it, wrap it once before you tie it, and wrap that up. Okay, so make sure you push it down towards the wood so it's really close to the surface. And that's the start of our string project. So you're gonna need a lot of different colors, but you can use the same one if you want to, but I'm gonna to try to use a different color for each one. Now, if you wanna take a step ahead and you're feeling like, oh, I wanna keep going, it is really fun. So the next one you're gonna do is you're gonna skip two nails. So you're gonna go from one, skip one, two and three, so one to four, skip five and six, four to seven, skip eight and nine, seven to 10, skip 11 and 12, 10 to one, okay? So you can go ahead and skip two nails, 
then you can skip three nails and so on and so forth. I'll have videos of those too, but if you're feeling like you wanna skip ahead, you can do that now. All right, that's all for now.